is that you can easily connect WooCommerce products to Facebook shopping. So you, so you can easily connect WooCommerce product to Facebook by doing the simple steps that I'm going to show you in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So there are a few things that first of all, you want to make sure before doing any step. So first of all, you have to make sure that you have your Facebook ads manager or without ads manager, you can do it because let, let me show you. Uh, as you all can see, I have made my ads manager already and I have it. So we can just uh, promote uh, products over here and sell them. So first of all, uh, when you do this, go to WooCommerce. So there are two steps. The first one is WooCommerce and the second one is the Zapier trick. So the Zapier trick is very easy. And th this one is also easy if you watch the steps very carefully. So yeah, uh, the f first thing you have to do is... Um, as I told you all earlier, you have to make your Facebook ads manager. And the second step is make sure that you have correctly made your WooCommerce, uh, everything, including the products, everything, your payment methods, you've done every single thing without, uh, the, uh, because if you don't do uh, any single step, as you can see, I've done nothing. Like I haven't chose my team yet and uh, I haven't added my products yet. I haven't set up WooPayments. I haven't add tax rates, uh, uh, shipping costs or domain. I haven't added anything. So first you have to make sure that you add everything. After that, you have to go to plugins. When just make sure that you have added everything after you get that, go to plugins, browse plugins and search up WooCommerce for Facebook. All right. And there we have it, this one, we need exactly this one, WooCommerce, Facebook for WooCommerce. As a, and as you all can see, it's telling me to download. I'm just going to press download. And it's downloading. Just going to wait. There we go. Now it's downloaded. Uh, wait until zip opens. All right. So we have this all thing over here. What we have to do is drag it in our PC. There we go. Now we have Facebook for WooCommerce and as you all can see, it has all the data and all the Google categories. So one thing that you have to make sure that put this whole folder, like where's your whole like um, um, browser based on. So let's say you use Google Chrome, just to, uh, co co copy this off of uh, um, uh, WooCommerce thingy and just um, uh, paste it right over there. So as you all can see, if you don't like um, understand, there is a whole uh, installation uh, process. As you all can see, symptoms of your problem screenshot. Uh, so you can just read all this if you don't understand mine. But you have to like um, copy this whole thing and paste it in your um, web browser page and thingy. After that, when you're done doing that, you just go back. When you're done doing this, just go back and... Um, when you've installed your plugin, just go back to home and and go to overview, marketing, and overview. Click on overview. I don't know why it's not opening up. might think we are in the overview but it's telling me to upgrade now all right let's press on upgrade now and watch it shows us all right i'm just gonna log in now once i've logged in as you all can see oh yeah if you want overview you have to pay them so yeah you can just pay performance or essential when you pay them just go to extensions browsing extensions and um in extensions we're gonna search up yeah i'm gonna show you in one, one second let's just load up there we go now what you have to do is search up facebook right over here again yeah there we have it there we have it facebook for woocommerce let me download this extension too 
Hi, Jim. Indeed. Yeah. Why do we have this? Um, let me remove this and proceed to checkout. So once you've done this, it will ask you for your country, region, your everything. So let me put all of this. Off now, so we're going to check if my country is there. Yep. All right. There we go. Store on there. Hey, let's see what happens. So we've successfully purchased this extension. As all can see, I'm just going to press add to site. And there we go. Connect store. Now, as you can see, it will ask you to connect your store. So you have to connect your Facebook to WooCommerce. So once you've done like um the that plugin process, it will automatically connect. And or either you can just do it manually, as I told you all earlier. You can just download it and paste it. So once you've done these processes, you have to like um go ahead and check your manager and. Uh, well, once you've done, it will give you the process of uh, show your show your uh, product. So the second method is very easy. You just have to go to Zapier and go over there to Zapier. And as all can see, Facebook to WooCommerce. Is generating all right, and there we have it. We can just, just gonna press try it, and um, yeah, there we go. When I when I get a new lead from Facebook lead ads, create an WooCommerce order. All right, just gonna press both of these. All right, now it's gonna ask me to sign in. All right, I'm just gonna press continue. All right, just signed in. Signed in in WooCommerce too. WooCommerce account and in WooCommerce account, you have to make sure that um, uh, you have to put in your web WordPress site address, your WordPress username. That's basically your WooCommerce and that. I actually don't remember my WooCommerce, but when you do this, just press uh, continue. And as you can see, it's telling me all the pages and stuff like that. So, and just fill out these. It's very basic and fix to publish. And there we go. And you have successfully connected WooCommerce to Facebook for uh, Facebook shopping. And now you can uh, put uh, products in it and do whatever you want. So yeah, that's basically it on how you can connect WooCommerce to Facebook for Facebook shopping. So yeah, I hope I'll help you guys out. Peace.